Hey everybody, welcome back to Real Fishing 2 The Walkthrough. Today we are heading to the frozen north for some pond smelt fishing. Oh boy, we are ice fishing today. And uh, what does it say? Catching a few fish can be hot fun when you're out there ice fishing. This is a very unique level in Real Fishing 2 in that it's the only level where that you have to play it a little bit like a speed run. The objective in this level is to catch 30 smelt in one fishing session. Does not matter how many you have caught before, doesn't matter how big they are. You have to catch 30 individual smelt and you have a time limit. It is a very stressful level in that way. So um, you have one session, as I said, and the sessions are, I think about 10 minutes of real time. And I believe that the timer is not on during screen transitions and during menu time. I don't know that for sure. I'm only just surmising that but I, le I believe about 10 minutes of game time like this right now is what you have so i was taking a look at my bait and i'm in the first hole waiting for that bite now when you get the pond smelt bite they're always the same you have three uh three baits on there i guess on your rig three baits and there's going to be three smelts that come up to it every time you're never going to have one two it's always going to be three smelts coming up to your bait now, all three of them will bite, but they will not all bite at the same time. And if you're trying to be fast on this one, you're going to need to catch some multiples. In fact, you're going to need to catch quite a few multiples. I don't believe that you can get anywhere close to 30 if you're just catching all singles, because you'd have to catch something like three fish per minute. And you can see all the seconds ticking away on these singles. So here I'm losing a bunch of time at the beginning. I will spoil it for you a little bit now. I did finish this the first session that I started this one. So you can actually see my technique start to improve as this video goes on. Uh, I'm going through those menus as fast as I can. So I have to fish catch like boom, 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 get the line in the water. I rarely was switching the spots in this one. I was counting seconds. Maybe I'd count 10 or 12 seconds. And if I didn't get a bite, I'd pull out and switch to a different hole. I don't know how much a difference it makes. The game tells you it makes a significant difference, but I did not see one. Here's another single. So you can see how tricky it is to try to hook these fish. But I did develop and looked at a couple of techniques that you can use to help get you some of those multiples. So let's take a look and see if we can pull out some multiples here. By the way, I'm doing some time jumps. We're not showing the whole fishing session because this level is a little bit repetitive. I wouldn't want to talk over 14 solid minutes of playing. That includes all the transition time. So right there, I had all three fish biting, and when I set the hook, two of them were in the hook set window. These fish have a, a hook set window that's not always when they're shaking. They have to have it for a couple seconds, but if they've had it too long, then they're outside that window. They have a pretty narrow window for setting the hook. And when you're trying to watch three different baits and three different fish, it can be pretty tricky. You may have noticed on the very first one that when I pulled it in, there was still bait on the other hooks. That's going to become important here in a little while. Let's see what we get on this one. So there's no bait on that third hook because that other fish had started to bite when I set the hook to get this double, but it was not in the hook set window. That's what kept me from getting a triple on this particular one. By the way, it doesn't tell you uh, how many you caught. It just shows one and says pond smelt. I wasn't looking at all. I was mashing through those menus as much as possible because again, I'm not exactly sure when the clock is ticking and when it's not ticking on you. So they're watching. I'm trying to get them lined up. Um, I, you'll see my bait come up above those weeds because it's easier to see. It takes more time. Yes, it does take time because the fish have to come up to where you can see them above the weeds there. So if you're really trying to play this for speed, maybe you could keep it by those weeds and just get really good. But you can see how busy the, uh, the bottom is there, the, the background. I, I liked to have it framed by the, the blue of the water instead of that really busy foreground and background. Now, you see what I did there? This is an interesting one. I hooked one. One bait was gone, but another bait was still on the hook. I pulled the fish halfway up, maybe more than halfway up. And then I stopped with the bait on that hook and waited for the other fish to pop up. So that is going to be the easiest technique to get multiples is set the hook for fish that are there. And if one hasn't bitten yet, then just chill out and wait for it to bite the bait that um, you have open. 
This is a triple. This is a rare triple that I had all three smelt. And there's a bit of a luck factor involved in this. They all bit and they were all in the window at the same time. So triples are hard to get. If you were trying to really speed run this game and optimize it, you would have to get 10 triples in a row in order to pass this level as fast as possible. And uh, I wish you good luck if you try that. Let me know if you do and if you succeed. Here was close to another triple, but as you can see, only got two. That third one was not in the window. Uh, the, your eyes are kind of all over the place on this one, and you're stressed out. You're really... In this one, it's very intense when you're looking at things. You're like, oh my gosh, where's the fish? Where's this? You're smashing buttons. You're trying to bring things up as quickly as you can. It's a, it's a real rush. But it, I can imagine it would be very frustrating if you played through and caught almost 30 and then did not quite get the 30 because your progress is basically worthless. Here's a double. And you can see we're on our way. I haven't been counting, and I did not want to waste any frames going into my menu. Even just getting out of the hole and into the menu would waste a few frames that I did not care to waste. So uh, you can check to see what your count is, I should say, if you want to. So there I set the hook on one fish and then just hung out there for a little bit. So you may notice that that's become the, the strategy to get doubles. And there you can hear, no doubt about it, the jingle that we have cleared this level. And look what happens right there. Time to stop fishing right now. So how fortuitous is it that I caught that double right as I needed to finish that level? So if I had needed to go back for a second look, I'm going to go to the pound smelt uh, to show you that this game calls them pound smelt, not pond smelt in, this, uh, in the notebook. Ha ha ha. But you can see the total is 31 right there. So I actually did not need a double on that last one. I had 29. A single would have done it. The total of 31 just put me a little bit over in one session. But if I tried, needed to try again, I definitely would have been able to get it easier because I would have had that technique of hooking multiples more available to me. So that's something that I hope I can pass on to you. Hope you've enjoyed this series of videos. We're getting close to the end here of Real Fishing 2. I'm very excited and I'm glad to have you along. Let me know in the comments what you think. Hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and i can also hit me up on twitter where i'm on active underscore ate we will see you next time